can't see anything. Okay, guys, I got, the, I got the glare in my eyes. This is Intuitive Anthony doing another YouTube video. Okay, this one I ran past, and I thought this was freaking hilarious. Because if you looked at my channel, you guys, you know how I feel about Oprah Winfrey, especially after the Leaving Nevin Land documentary and all that nonsense. I have had my stomach filled with the bile that is Oprah Winfrey. Well, Kid Rock, I've never been a fan of Kid Rock because I'm a black man. Um, you know, I'm not some, you know, um, I don't even want to say it because it might come across offensive for those who don't understand the way I speak, you know, it might come off a little crass. So I was never a fan of Kid Rock. I mean, I understood him and got him for doing his own thing and being original. So that I have no problem with. But I want to read you this article because his people in his camp, his handlers or whatever they want to call them, have been trying to get him to do something with Oprah Winfrey because apparently she was, you know, trying to get him to do a, do an a interview with her. And <laughs> this lets you know that not only are a lot of awakened black people sick of Oprah Winfrey and her white agenda media blitz that she does to feed black masses what the higher ups and the Jews and the white people of Hollywood want us to know. Not only are we sick of it, other people are sick of it too because they see what she's doing. They see the pandering. They see the lack of respect for your own self and your own people and your you have no respect for yourself. And other people, not only black people, other nations are starting to see it as well. And remember when she couldn't buy the purse in Paris or whatever and they called the police on her and all that nonsense. Honey, your wake up call is coming. Your black wake up call is coming. Ask Steve Harvey. Okay, check this out. Rocker Kid Rock went on a disrespectful rant against Oprah Winfrey. Okay. <laughs> Kid, <laughs> Kid Rock went on a disrespectful rant against Oprah Winfrey, claiming that she wanted to do an interview with them, but he turned her down flat. My people have tried to get me to do an interview with Oprah Winfrey for years, years ago, and her people wanted me to write down five reasons why I loved her and her show. Now, isn't that a very self-serving, egotistical point of view? You don't care about nobody else or none of the real issues of the world. You only care about how much he loves you and your show. Well, newsflash, bitch, everybody don't love you. A lot of stupid people do, but not the real people who got a brain up here who can think for themselves without feeding into whatever Hollywood's feeding them. You gotta, you have to sit back and think twice. Think twice about things. As I continue, my people tried to get me to do a Oprah, uh, do a um, to do the Oprah Winfrey show for years ago, and wanted me to do, write down five reasons why I love her and her show. I said fuck that and her. In the story, he wrote on Twitter, which is very blunt. Kid Rocket, a diehard Trump supporter. Now that makes me go. Ugh. That's why I know me and Kid Rock are not in the same boat by a long shot. You know, I I see. I see, I see, you know, where he comes from, and him hanging head off. That's his journey. My journey's different, so I see things differently. So I've never been a fan of Kid Rock, but I do respect the fact that he can say what he wants to say. Um, he's a diehard Trump supporter. Blah. Continued his rant against Oprah on stage at the Big A Honky Tonk Rock and Roll Steakhouse in Nashville. Now that is a damn mouthful. Oh my God! Once again, at the Big A Honky Tonk. Rock and Roll Steakhouse in Nashville. Now, there's four or five things wrong with that sentence as a black man, period. Okay, anyway, which he owns, screaming into the microphone, fuck Oprah. Oprah Winfrey is like, hey, I just want women to believe in this shit. Fuck her. She can suck her dick sideways. <laughs> he added. <laughs> now, that's the way I talk. So I'm glad he's saying it and not me because I get a huge laugh out of that because I feel the same way about a lot of people. Oh, my God. They're so great. Oh, they're so great. No, honey. Will they're willing to forsake their soul and sell their own mama down the river for a couple a couple uh, million dollars or a couple hundred thousand or whatever the case may be. Honey, please. You think they care about you? That's why you find these celebrities. Can I get an autograph? No. Then they spit in your face. Bitch, they don't love you. They don't love nobody. They don't love they self. They don't care about their own self. So you're sitting there believing this persona they're putting out. That's not them. The real them is a vile, disgusting creature. I'm going to beef with Oprah Winfrey and her white supremacist agenda. The people who control this heifer are um, sending our messages from white supremacy to the black and minority community because the only way that you can truly get a black person to respect what you're saying is you got to put a black face in front of it. That's what they've done in politics forever. Ben Carson, um, what's that Ferguson guy, the one who's the great white hope, and he's talking about Donald Trump. 
Um, I love my slave master. I don't have time for that shit. Keep that with yourself. Anyway, I don't like Kid Rock. I mean, I, I mean, his music is fine, but it's never he was, it's never been directed at my audience and everything. I mean, she made it popular by being a slave on the color purple. So you already know how this song goes, okay? And the, the, the sun keeps going behind the clouds, guys. So it will come back out in a minute. But instead of me doing this whole video again, I'm going to skip back to the end so that I can finish this. It says that he dislikes Oprah going back more than a decade. Back in 2008, he told the independent press, I just don't believe her. Maybe it's because I'm not one of the 150 million brainwashed women who heed on her every word. And not only that, they're trying to slip in little rhetoric from white supremacy about black people. So when you want to go after a black artist, you put up another black artist to do it. Gail King, which is Oprah's little lesbian buddy that nobody's stupid about. That's why she never got married. Goes after R. Kelly. She goes after Michael Jackson. And when they want to send a message to black people, because black people don't believe what white people say, no way. Because that's what's, I mean, look at history. Every time they say something to us, it's been a lie or something to trick us or deceive us or put us and slave us. So anytime they want to get a message out to us and they don't want to look like the guys who's sending it, they find a black person to send it for them. And some of these people out here, well, most of these people out in Hollywood, well, they're whores for money. They'll sell their own mama down the river for the money. So if you give them a price that's big enough, they'll go and do whatever you want them to do. They don't care about themselves or people or anything. They're godless people. So when you're dealing with that, you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Now, me and Kid Rock have never said, I mean, we just, you know, we're from two different worlds. But I, I respect what he's doing. I respect the fact that he can say what the hell he wants to say. But even he sees the bullshit that is coming from the Oprah Winfrey camp. Now, this has nothing to do with Michael Jackson, but it's indicative of what I'm talking about. So I wanted to give you guys this story because I thought this was food for thought. Um, you guys can really do your own thinking about this. But if you look at it, even he don't believe it. And you would think that because he's from Nashville and he's a good old boy and a honky-tonk boy, that he would be okay with what she's saying because she's feeding the masses stuff that, that protects and helps his people. But even he don't like it because it's, it's, it's the most disgusting spectacle to watch. And for people who out there who can't look and think for themselves, these brainwashed, 150 brainwashed women will follow her every word. And I agree with him wholeheartedly. Now, we may have a difference of opinion on a lot of other things. And he's a diehard Trump supporter. And that's another thing. He stands up for his people. So all I'm doing is standing up for mine. And we both have a problem with Oprah Winfrey because she has no morals, no backbone, and does not stand up for anything besides the dollar. And when her ass is decomposing in the ground after she dies and everybody's crying, I think she's a good person and it's sunny as hell on her funeral day which means she ain't going to heaven um her money's still gonna be sitting on this earth while she's decomposing in the ground but that was the god you chose so you deal with the repercussions just wanted to put this out here for you guys this is intuitive anthony doing another youtube video guys and i'll be back with more content very soon guys stick around